But before that, by 2040, the sale of new petrol and diesel cars will be banned, leaving the roads open for electric vehicles. Well, some students from the University of Bath are getting in on the action early, taking to the world stage to test their skills at designing and building their own electric car. As Richard Payne discovered, that's just the start of their ambitions. This is the racing car aiming to take the motor industry in an entirely new direction. Like any vehicle built for speed, it's lightweight, low and doesn't include anything but the essentials. But where some carry finely tuned engines and roaring exhausts, the University of Bath's car has batteries, big batteries which carry it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under four seconds. The acceleration of this car is incredible. Um, it really kicks you back into your seat. We've worked quite hard to make sure that our vehicle is cutting edge, and so hopefully in the next five to 10 years, we'll start to see some things that are on this car uh, appearing on the roads for everyone to buy. But first, it'll be appearing on a racetrack in China later this year lining up against countries from all over the world for the Formula student races. They'll be the only UK team taking part. For every glamorous minute behind the wheel, hours of work goes in under the bodywork in the workshop. This is the Birmingham home of the once famous British brand MG, now in Chinese hands, and offering the Bath students a chance to hone their skills and cars for maximum performance. Before very long, we will have electric vehicles in the UK market, and uh, our ability to continue to develop those and to also explore the new technologies which will take those forward to the next level as well, that's going to be key to our futures. Key to the futures of these students will not hinge on finishing first in the Far East, though. They'll have to present and prove their business and marketing case for the entire project, which will count towards their five year degree course. A lot of companies, when they're looking to recruit graduates, are actually looking for former students on their CVs because it's real-life practical skill set that actually shows that they've already taken the initiative to want to get involved with a project that's not just theoretical, but actually you're manufacturing, you're doing the design work and you're doing the debugging that often takes a long time and is actually quite difficult to, to learn without doing. So yeah, we, we like to think that we're going to be hopefully employable, um, but like you say, Electric vehicles are going to be the future, so having this skill set for such a young age is really, really important and hopefully will uh, yeah, get snapped up. <laughs> the university has a history of success in racing petrol-driven cars, but now it's time for their electric cousins to shine and potentially help pioneer the future of motoring for us all. Richard Payne, ITV News, at the Bruntingthorpe Racetrack in Leicestershire.